So we're heading out, it's uh, first light. We're down amongst the Danube Delta. So there's some moisture, we can feel some moisture in the air this morning. And uh, I think it'll be good, we've got good sensing conditions. Uh, nice weather, it's really warm and clear here. So we'll see if we can go and find some birds. These little birds are really sporty. They get up and away, they fly low, so you've got to watch the dogs. It's snap shooting. You're generally shooting them between 20 and 40 yards away. Given the choice, I'd probably keep something like a cylinder or a quarter choke in my first barrel and in my multi choke. I've been using a half choke, but I think next time I'm probably going to go to a three quarter. We're using 32 grams of nines and they are absolute mustard on these birds. So we're just getting ready to line out again and take this same field backwards. So what we tend to do is take this whole field and we'll split it into sections, into rows, and walk it up and back down and up and back down until we've covered the whole ground. So we've come up and down two or three times now and uh, I think we're probably in for about 35, 40 quail so far, which is a nice start. We're about halfway through. And so we're just going to line out and take this back down the field and see what's in the next section. Uh, it's a lovely morning. Well, we had the first morning crowd shooting. It's been really busy. I must have had, uh, I don't know how many baggies, but probably 50 or 60, something like that. Been uh, incredibly quick. First time I've been on the quails and uh, they fly uh, probably rather quick, more quickly than I can go anyway. We went out this morning and shot somewhere between 80 and 100 birds, so we can't argue. Um, here we've got 55 that we've picked and uh, it's early in the season, so the dogs are still a little bit excitable, but they're holding for point and we're getting plenty of shots off the point. And they're a covey bird, so as we're picking up the odd bird off the point, then peripheral birds in the covey are getting up and the guys are getting, getting shots off of wild birds as well. We're seeing a definite difference in the size of the birds. There's a, a resident population that tend to be on the smaller side and then you have some migratory birds that you can see are a bit bigger and they tend to be a little bit more orange in their colouring, a little bit lighter in their colouring. So they're, they're we're told are the migratory birds that generally all very good, uh, very good condition. Here in Romania, it's not an intensive farming regime, so there's plenty of food on the ground. We've seen hemp fields mixed into the stubble there. Obviously you can see behind me, there's a maize field. So always lots of food. These birds, as we've started looking at getting these cleaned up for the table, we can see there's a big layer of fat on them, so they're in great condition. It's been, a, it's been a great morning to start off, so looking forward to getting back. The accommodation, it's three star, clean, warm, air conditioned, ensuite accommodation, single occupancy, so you're not in there sharing with anybody, and the hotel staff are brilliant. We brought them our quail, they cleaned them up for us, and they cooked them for lunch one day in the oven. Transfer times, we leave the hotel, we're at the hunting area within half an hour, you never know with hunting, these are wild birds and we all know what that means. So there are no guarantees, but the important thing is that if your usual area isn't working, then have a plan B, plan C, plan D. And any good outfitter should be able to do that. If you go out and you buy on price, then the likelihood is that in the time when it goes wrong, there's not gonna be any alternatives. And we've been hearing of people that are going out and shooting 10 and 15 quail a day, instead of where we've been shooting over 100. Usually, we'd be able to shoot some doves and pigeons in the afternoon as well. This year, because of the drought, there just wasn't that many birds around, so it didn't warrant it. So we decided that we'd go and shoot quail in the afternoon as well.
Overall, I think Romania is great. It's easy access, clearing guns at customs a piece of cake, especially if you're from Europe. If you're in Europe, you just need your European firearms pass with your shotgun on it. You come in, you go to the red channel, they check the numbers, they issue you a small piece of paper that says they've checked it with the serial numbers on it, and off you go. From the States, all you need is a copy of your hunting license and your 4457 customs form. If you have that, exactly the same process. You come in, you show them your gun, they give you the permit, and you're out. Probably all in less than 20 minutes. We've ended up, what, over 400 birds in four days? Easily. Yeah, Easily probably pushing 500. Definitely some of the best quail hunting I've seen anywhere in the world. Mexico, the US, anywhere. Yeah. We'll have to do it again for sure. Yeah. Can't wait, it's been a lot of fun. I'll bring hunting gear next <laughs> time, I promise. <laughs> I'm coming in red shorts. <laughs>